Hey, y'all sister right there. What, come here, because you've been saying for a long time. What's your birthday? Come here. I'm going to see y'all on top of me right quick. Because I see y'all look like y'all out here having a good time. Like you really about to enjoy yourself on Bill Street. But guess what? We came out here to teach you that you are some of the most special people on the earth. And what the most I got for you, a birthday can't contain. A little, a little birthday ain't nothing. Guess what? But you know you're in the midst of sin and that God don't even care nothing about no birthday. That Joel one folks. Our people, this stuff that we go to church every week. We don't listen to our grandmama tell her wrong. We don't listen to our mama tell her wrong. We don't listen to our daddy show us wrong. Guess what? We don't know what we supposed to be doing. We don't even know how we supposed to do it. And guess what? The, guess what our answer is? God loves everybody. God don't kill. God do kill. God gave us rules about what we supposed to do and what we not supposed to do. But guess what we say? I don't think that's what he meant when he said that. Right. Let me show you what he said. Job chapter 1 and verse 4. Three. And his sons went and feasted in their homes. Everyone his day. What do, what is a, what's a feast? Right there in the orange, what's a feast? Man, quit acting crazy. What's a feast? If we said we finna go feast, what we doing? That golden corral, that red lobster, right. that's a barbecue at the house. That's a feast. That, that, that's a, a roof crib, that penny hunter, that hibachi. We gonna have a feast. He said each one on when? <laughs> on his day. What you? What is his day? What is her day? Yeah. If you're about, no, if you if this your brother, you say what? This my day. Right. This my day. Right. God said that when he, when Job's sons and his daughters they all went to feast on what? On his day. Read. And sit and call for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. Don't you call your people when it's your birthday? You know we finna turn up. We finna go on Bill Street, yeah. We finna have a time. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's my birthday. It's my birth week. It's my birth month. What y'all what the Bible say, Reed? And it was so. When the days of their feasting were gone about. He said, while it was in the middle of it, Reed. Job sent and sanctified them. He had to pray for his kids. Right. Job had to pray for his kids that was feasting on day day. Why did he have to pray for them? And rose up early in the morning uh -huh. and, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Uh -huh. He but, said, I had to pray for all of them. I had to ask God to forgive all my kids for partying on their birthday. Why? But Job up. said, it may be that my sons have sinned. My sons have sinned. Sinned. God say, partying on your day, you have sinned. Give me Romans 6, 23. Because guess what? Our people don't believe what their Bible say. Our people think, oh, that's the Old Testament. That's the Old Testament. That's wrong. That ain't, we don't have to live by that no more. Read it what you got. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Read. For the wages of sin, he is death. For the wages, the price. What you gonna pay for sin is what? Is death. Is death. The wages of sin is death. Sister, sister, is Romans in the New Testament or the Old Testament? The book of Romans. New yeah. Testament or Old Testament? Old Testament. She said the book of Romans is the Old Testament. I'm gonna read it for you. You tell me, tell me if this right or wrong. Tell me if, if God still agree with this. Read that again. Romans chapter 6, listen, verse 23. Listen. For the wages of sin is death. Is that still valid? Bring it up. For the wages of sin is death. So we don't die for our sins. Bring it up. Now, you know this is the New Testament, right? This is Romans. This is after Christ. And the sister said, I don't believe that no more. Because our people don't believe nothing. And that's what the problem is. We come out here in the middle of the day. We drinking. We taking King Sierra pictures. Yeah, we know it's your King Sierra, but guess what? You in the midst of it too, because so-called Hispanics, so-called Mexicans, so-called Puerto Ricans are the children of Israel. Second interest, 9-11. Let me see. He said God do hear his prayers. Yeah. Second interest, chapter 9, verse 11. Give me that. And they that have loathed my law. So God said, all y'all so-called black people, all you so-called Hispanic people that hate his law, that loathe it, that say, I ain't keeping no Sabbath day. That say, I don't care nothing about no birthday. That say, I'm finna go in the Memphis Pope barbecue selling restaurant. All you that loathe his law. You hate God's commandment. He said, all y'all.
y'all that hate my commandments, that loathe my commandments, that don't like what I said to do, read. While they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. He said, uh, hey, you know what liberty and a place of repentance is open mean? Do you know what it means? I see you listening, so you couldn't just answer me. But I'm going to tell you, that means grace. God said, you hated his law, but now at the time that you have grace, repentance, a chance to change, you did what? Understood it not. You didn't take time to understand his laws. You didn't take time to understand what your grace really was. You didn't take time to understand that you was in the error in the midst of sin, right? But despised it. He said, but you hated it. You hated them brothers that came out and told you your birthday was evil as hell. You hated that them brothers came out and told you stop marrying these so-called white women and these so-called white men. He hated when he told you that you was from the nation of Israel. You said, I don't care. You said, I don't give a damn. Say, I'm finna go drink in the middle of the daytime. Read. The same must know it after death by pain. He said, you ain't getting out of it, though. He said, you can sit here on Bill Street and act like you don't hit these folks all you want to. He said, you can sit up under the bench. You can sit there and take selfies. You can sit there and laugh and mock. But he said, when it's all said and done, you gonna know it. You gonna know it by what? By pain. By pain. Pain. He said, you're going to have to feel for what you did. You're going to feel for your disobedience. He said, but guess what? You can change. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her. She hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again. Give me that. The law of the Lord is perfect. This is how you change. This is how you fix yourself. This is how you go about getting right. So you ain't got to feel death by pain. You ain't got to feel, you ain't got to feel pain after it's all over with. You say, God, I thought that, I thought that you loved everybody. I thought that we had grace to do what we want to do. I thought we were given free will. That ain't what you got. Read. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. God said, my law is perfect. Not eating pork is perfect. Not being a drunkard and getting high is perfect. Not being a whore or a whoremonger is perfect. Not murdering is perfect. Not stealing is perfect. Not lying and swindling your brother or your sister is perfect. He said, ain't nothing wrong with that. Brother, brother right here with the chain on your neck. Hey, you, no face. Hey, what's wrong with not stealing, bro? Is there anything wrong with not killing our brothers and sisters? You, can you see anything wrong with that? So why are people continuously do that? Why we think that it's something wrong with doing what God say of not killing each other? Why we think it's something wrong with not sitting here jumping up and down on every girl that walked down Bill Street in some leggings with some holes in it? Bring it up. Why? Why you think we got to do that? Why we have that mentality? You know why? Because we don't believe in God's law. Right. We believe in what the white man say is cool. Right. White man say you can hit holes. You gonna hit hoes. White man say put on leggings, you gonna put on leggings. Right. Ain't that right, cuz? Yo, see, he'll turn his head. He'll say, I don't wanna hear what no folk got to say. But guess what? When a nigga run down on him, the first thing gonna hide in his mouth is, oh, Lord. Right. But when the Lord was sitting there talking, say, don't do this abominable thing that I hate, he pulled his shoulder, he shook his head, and he walked away. Free. The law of the Lord is perfect. Uh -huh. Converting the soul. He say, convert it. Converting me to change. This how you change your soul. This how you fix yourself. This how you correct yourself. This how you make yourself better. So-called black man, so-called black woman, so-called Hispanic man, Hispanic woman, native man, native woman. Great. The testimony of the Lord is sure. He said this thing certain. He said it's certain like a scratch out ticket that you hit and it got three diamonds on it. You won. He said this thing is for sure. Right? 
making words the simple. He said, this is how you become a smart person. This is how you get rid of the dumbness in your brain. This is how you get rid of the false stuff that you had in your mind about the God that you serve and about the people that you are. He said, this is how you fix it with his laws. And it is perfect. Not stealing is perfect. Not dressing like a whore is perfect. Not being an adulterer is perfect. Fixed. Like a so-called black man, so-called black woman, our neighborhood riddled with all those things. We say, I ain't stop eating my pork, though. I'm going to eat these spare I'm going to eat these, these baby bags. I don't care what the Lord say. So you get your foot cut off, then what you say? Oh, Lord. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.